be down in spirit because people hate. Right. It's not our time to lower our heads and drop our shoulders because people don't like, because they don't know, they don't understand. In the scriptures of the Bible, it said Jesus, they hated him without a cause. They had no justified reason for hating the master teacher. But he was hated because he introduced a new idea that would upset the Roman authorities and even the Jewish leaders of that time, bringing in a whole new world. So the fear of them, that his idea would catch on, the fear of them that they would not have a place and that which Jesus was bringing into existence caused them to persecute him and to persecute the early Christians. Think about the early Christians that died in the Colosseum in Rome just confessing his name. But today, look at the billions all over the world who believe in him, who honor him and respect his name and try to follow his example. It's interesting, and as I conclude, that Christianity begins not at the birth of Jesus, not at the ministry of Jesus. Christianity begins at the cross, a place where the world would have thought that was the end of Jesus. But it was the beginning of a great movement among human beings. So it is with Prophet Muhammad. Islam did not begin at his birth. Islam did not begin when he first heard Jibreel say, read. Islam did not begin when he began reciting the Quran. Islam began on the heels of a death plot. Yes, sir. And he fled Mecca to Medina, right. then, after the Hajira, Islam began. So we are walking in good company. So to the American people, my dear American people of goodwill, and there are many, many, many. There are many Christians and Jews and Buddhists and Hindus and agnostics of goodwill. This book, Quran, is the guiding light of a Muslim's life. <clears throat> How could it be so bad? If you have Muslim sons in America called Shrinas, many of whom were the founding fathers of this country and they had to learn 33 degrees of a 360 degree circle. And when they got to the 35 degree, they said, a shadow in
foundation on this earth. And when that building was destroyed, the whole world felt it. And the whole world poured into America sorrow and condolence on such a horrific event. And among those sending condolences were Muslims from all over the world. So if Muslims died, and Christians died, and Hindus and Buddhists and Jews and agnostics died on that day, why then should a mosque, a cultural center, not be constructed a few blocks away? Well, let me see what's around it. There's a article in the papers that I read, <laughs> Mormon. written by Nicholas Mills of the Christian Science Monitor, and he said, but the World Trade Center, that neighborhood is also filled with eyesores. He said, when I walked from Park Place on the north side of the World Trade Center to Rector Street on the south side, what I encountered were a string of bars bedding parlors, fast food restaurants, and within this cluster of buildings, especially noticeable were two strip clubs. The New York Dolls Gentlemen's Club and the Pussycat Lounge, plus Thunder Lingerie and Martin, a sex shop with a peep show. All of that Hallowed ground. <laughs> 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 Hallowed ground. 